We all dream about growing up to save the world. But did you know you could actually start a little each day? Right here in the cafeteria, it's all about what you eat. Well, actually, what you do with the food that you don't eat. Let me explain. If every day were French toast stick day, we probably wouldn't need to talk about this. But unfortunately, we throw out a lot of food every day at school. That's why we need to plan for when lunch isn't so popular. And that is where composting comes in. Here's how composting works. You start by separating your food scraps from your trash at lunch. Those food scraps are put into a big pile of leaves and grass where worms, bugs, and bacteria live. Those little guys eat your leftovers and break them down to compost. When it comes to creating a healthy environment, composting covers a lot of ground. We're not only reducing the amount of garbage, we're also helping plants grow bigger and stronger. Because compost is full of nutrients that make soil super healthy. And by putting nutrients back into the soil, we're giving plants what they need to help them grow faster and live longer. You'll see the benefits here, 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 and here. So how can you help? It's as simple as sorting recyclables, trash, and food into different bins when you're done with lunch. Trash like styrofoam trays, sandwich bags, chip bags, wrappers, drink pouches, and plastic straws still go in the garbage bin. And recyclables like plastic bottles still go in the recycling bin. But now instead of throwing away your food scraps like banana peels, sandwich crusts, chicken nuggets, and hot dogs in the garbage bin, you can put them in the compost bin to help reduce garbage. And if you're not sure where something goes, always put it in the trash. Be sure to pitch in by composting at your school. It's a simple way to save the world a little each day. Or, in this case, a little each lunchtime. Are you going to eat that? <laughs>